and off they go. Those distant dots are their targets. Elk, the North American equivalent of the European red deer. Snow drifts will make the chase difficult. The wolf's pads are particularly broad, but in really deep snow, the elk's long legs give them the advantage. And in such country as this, there's little chance of taking them by surprise. So the chase is likely to be a long and exhausting one. One of the stags is flagging, and the pack have managed to separate it from the main herd. Another sprints past close by and confuses things. Most of the wolves stick to their original quarry. They have, after all, been harrying it for some time and it may be tiring. But it's got away. Another wolf is chasing the stag that ran by them earlier. But that escapes too. Only one in ten wolf hunts is successful. The weather worsens. It's now over a week since the wolves fed. They're getting desperate. They have no alternative but to continue to follow the herd. Now they have a real chance. A female has become isolated and is close to the end of her strength. She can go no further. But even now, two wolves are not strong enough to bring her down. But then, the rest of the pack arrive. Now, she has no chance. The herd moves on. 